America, and you are against it. I want nothing more than to see Barack succeed. I, I look, I, and, I, and I know he will. I think that, yes, in fact, though, this plan that's in the Senate right now, this health care bill before us, really is not in the country's best interest and not in Barack's best interest ultimately. And so, yes, and it was a very difficult decision to, to do this, uh, but in the end, I felt there was a call of duty to stand up for my patients and stand up for my profession mm -hmm. and ultimately to stand up for my country and say, this is not good. This is not good for our patients. It's not good for our country. There's a better way to do this. Well, earlier in the week, you wrote an editorial where you detailed your opposition to this in the Washington Times, and one of the things you uh, talked about was one of the things the president and the Congress, the Democrats in Congress are saying is that this plan will help contain costs and drive costs down. You're actually in this business. Do you believe that to be true? I've never seen that happen that way. It just, it, that, that defies economics as we know it. There's a confusion often between costs and price. Right. And you can set an artificial price, but that doesn't do anything with costs. All that does when you take the price down but leave the costs where they were, is, where they were, is to drive down the supply chain. G give us an example. Well, you see this all the time outside of medicine. Uh, we've seen this, the, the Carter era gas lines is, a, is the perfect example sure. of, of driving down price with, but ignoring costs. And, and and you dry up a supply line and you can't get people to provide it. Why would they if they can't make a living doing it? Okay. And, and medicine is not immune from these economic realities.